What's up YouTube, it's Robo13. I'm going to show you guys how to do the 5.0.1 semi-untethered jailbreak today. And uh, I'll show you guys that I'm running 5.0.1 right there. Alright. And now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download two different files. One is going to be the red snow file right there. And the other one's going to be your uh, 5.0 firmware. So what you're going to do is go to down to the link in the description. I'll post a link down below so you guys can download all your different firmwares. Uh, just make sure you choose the 5.0 firmware for your device. So it'll be the iPod Touch 4th generation, iPod Touch 3rd generation, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, both um, CDMA and uh, GSM, or the uh, iPad 1. This will not work for the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S just yet. So if you have those devices, you guys are going to have to wait. But this will work for these devices, you're going to need to get Red Snow and your uh, 5.0 firmware for your device. I'll post a link for those in the description. Just go uh, down there and download those. Once you get those downloaded, you're going to double click on Red Snow. This is going to pop up. You're going to go down to here, click on Extras, click on Select IPSW, then you're going to go find the firmware, which mine is right there. Click on that. It'll say the following build was identified, and it'll be used for the rest of the session. And then click OK, and then click Back. Now you're going to click Jailbreak. All right, it's going to make all these different files. Okay, then once you do that, you're going to come down here. Make sure Install Cydia is checked. You can uh, enable multitask gestures if you want on your iPhone or iPod Touch, and then the Install Custom Bundle if you guys have any custom bundles. But I'm just going to click Install Cydia. Then I'm going to click next. And now it says that you can put your device into DFU mode if you already know how to. You don't, you don't even have to click next. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do. Put the camera down. You're going to take your device. If it's on, you're going to hold in both the top button and the home button until the device turns off. All right, once it turns off, you're just going to release the top corner button. Just keep holding the home button. All right, and when you hear that sound or whenever your device starts going into DFU mode, it'll show up right here. It'll say uploading first stage, uploading second stage, and give you that downloading jailbreak data. So uploading RAM disk. Now this is currently a tethered jailbreak, but you can add another source that lets you uh, I see right here it says that it's currently tethered, but you can add another source that lets it be semi-untethered. Which, and what that means is that if you ever turn your phone off or your uh, device off and uh, you want to turn it back on, if you have the semi-untethered source added to it, you can use like the stock apps. You can use, like if you have a phone, you can use the calling, you can use the texting. Uh, you can't use the internet because that that's a uh, busted. But there, there, you can also use. Uh, option to get the internet working, but it's a little dangerous and I'll show you guys that when I'm done, but You can get it working um, Once you turn it back on and you can get it work like if you're out and you want to get it to uh, be working So you guys can use it uh, then you can add this source and get it to work until you get home and then you can uh, uh, Rerun red snow to get it all working so it, it it's a pretty Nice thing to have because if it ever if your phone or your device ever turns off and you want it to work When you turn it back on and you're out and you can't rerun red snow then you can uh, do that and get it working again. So I'll show you guys that when this is done. It's just going to be showing you guys a bunch of uh, code. <laughs> the very first time you jailbreak it and it starts to reboot, it might not go all the way to the home screen. It might just keep showing you the Apple logo. If yours doesn't go to the home screen after you jailbreak it, it's okay. Just make sure you follow what I did afterwards in the uh, Just Boot Tethered Right Now option because it, uh, it uh, thinks it's tethered. You do have to rerun Redstone to get it to work. Alright, now once your device reboots, you're not going to be able to run Cydia. So you click on that, it just exits out. And then when you click on the uh, internet, it exits out also. Like Safari, just closes right out. So in order to fix that, you have to rerun Red Snow. So you're going to go back into Red Snow. Click on Extras, right there. Click on Select IPSW. You're going to have to collect, you're going to have to select an IPSW every single time. Uh, and then you're going to scroll down or wherever you guys saved it, click on wherever you saved it, click on OK, then go up to Just Boot. Now it's going to tell you to put it back into DFU mode, so I'm going to put the camera down. Show you guys exactly what to do again. So if it's on, you're going to hold in the top corner button and the home button until the device turns off.
All right, once it does that, you're gonna release the top button and keep holding the home button. All right, it's gonna be saying exporting with Lime Rain and uploading first stage, then uploading second stage, and then ready for a reboot. You should then see, I think, the pineapple logo. Yep, there it is. Let's say rebooting, and then done. And the rest of this takes place on your device. So once this gets rebooted, I will show you guys exactly what to do to get the semi-untethered version on your device. So now I rebooted it, Cydia will work. See, it pops right up. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. All right, I'm gonna click cancel on that. So then to get the semi-untethered version, you're gonna go down to manage sources. And I already have it added in here. It is right there. The source is the big boss dot org slash semi tether right there in the middle all right just so you guys can see that then after you add that source you're going to click on it then you're going to install this package called semi tether all right now what that does is that when you restart your phone or your device uh, you will be able to use all the pre-installed apps such as if you have an iphone uh, the messages app and the uh, phone so if you guys if you are out and about and you guys accidentally rebooted your phone or the phone died and you're trying to charge it uh, you will still be able to use your texting and your phone calling but you won't be able to use your email or safari or anything like that unless when you install it you go into here and then you go into semi tether right there this is what it looks like by the way once you install it it's just this white square you click on it It'll tell you if you're, uh, this is a status okay, reboot protected. So that means if you reboot it, you will be okay and you will be able to turn it back on. Down here, you can patch Safari so you can get Safari to work and the internet. But it says that it uh, it opens it up to some potential security risk from malicious websites. So I'm going to keep that off just in case. But I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit the like button down below. Remember, this is just for the iPod Touch 4th generation, 3rd generation, the iPhone 4, uh, CDMA and GSM, the iPhone 3GS, and this will also work on the iPhone 4 for the, for Sprint. That just means that when you go to download your firmware, you get the uh, CDMA version because Sprint and Verizon are both CDMA and uh, AT&T is GSM. So if you guys have any questions, please post a comment down below and I will uh, answer them as quickly as I can. I uh, hope you guys like this video uh, and I will see you guys next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, guys.